So when Carmen first told me about Brandon, she was like hesitant to go on their date at first because she had a bad experience. And I was like, go, what if he's amazing? Clearly, clearly, he was amazing. From that first swipe, to the first date, to the moment you both realize this could be a real thing. Through career changes, fellowship programs, home ownership, all of these things have led you here. Three years of laughing together, cooking together, checking out new restaurants, doing a little shopping together, fun road trips, and here we are ready for you to jump into your next chapter holding hands and ready for whatever God has planned for you. Take a deep breath. Look around, soak it all up. And let's make this love of yours official for the government. <laughs> and more importantly, in the eyes of God and all your loved ones here today. Privately, I asked Brandon what he loves most about Carmen. He said he loves her joyous personality her work ethic, her caring spirit, how gorgeous she is, I mean, hello. Carmen the same question about Brandon. She said she loves his ability to always make her laugh. She loves his patience and his strength and how he always accepts her for exactly who she truly is. You've made promises to each other to be faithful, honest, kind, and supportive for the rest of your days. May you always be willing to forgive each other May you always be ready to listen and truly hear each other's perspectives. A great partner loves you for who you are. An extraordinary partner helps you grow and inspires you to be, do, and give your very best in this life. And I hope you always remember how lucky you are to have found each other. By the power vested in me in the Commonwealth of Virginia, I now pronounce you husband and wife, Brandon <laughs> But the kid's super smart. He's kind. He's courteous. 
And I think that he's met somebody in his life that has the same qualities. And right now, Carmen, I like to say that we are so proud, so excited to have you in our family. Wouldn't take it for anything. Might even trade my wife in. <laughs> There's something coming over me, and I think it might be that little four-letter word. Don't know how I got it so bad for you. Guess I never learned how to play it cool, I know. People wanna say it's a honeymoon phase. I think it's love that I'm feeling like I found Carmen is very much the caregiver. Uh, she takes care of you, whatever you need. She's there, if she can provide it, she will fill the gap. She creates a space where, oh, you're lacking here, I got you. And I see that with you and Brandon. Um, so Brandon, you in good hands, in good hands. She, she got you, she got you. Uh, there were times when we would come home from school and I'd be like, all right, just drop me at the train station. Try to give her $20. You know, gas was affordable back then. $20 went far. It went far. And Carmen was like, I'm not taking that. Like, we're going to say, girl, take this 20 and flax. <laughs> so I come to realize you found a male version of your best friend. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. You did good. Amazing job. But in, in all seriousness, I. I'm very happy for you both. I'm glad that you found each other. Your love is pure, your love is amazing. And I will be here, ups, downs, in betweens. And cheers to the, the new couple. Cheers to the Browns.